John Bloom was born in DeWitt, Iowa in 1906. In 1926, he moved to Davenport, Iowa to attend then St. Ambrose College, and two years later, he continued his studies at the Chicago Art Institute, graduating in 1930. About this time, a new art form gained popularity, American Regionalism. The Regionalist movement was born during the turbulent economic times of the Great Depression, when people longed for an idealized Midwestern aesthetic. Regionalism was a way to express our Americanness. American Regionalism was a movement popularized during the 1930s and during the Depression era. Uh, it was based in local scenes, largely rural as well as small town America. Uh, there were three uh, big name artists associated with the movement, including Grant Wood, Thomas Hart Benton, and John Stuart Curry. In 1932, after winning a prize for his artwork at the Iowa State Fair, Bloom received an invitation from Wood to join the Stone City Art Colony. The colony, which resided on the John A. Green Estate in Stone City, Iowa, lasted only two years during the summers of 1932 and 33. It was at the colony, founded by Wood, Edward Rowan, and Adrian Dornbush, that Bloom continued to develop his style. In addition, he worked with Wood on projects for the Des Moines Public Library and the Iowa State University Library. Bloom went on to paint his own mural projects for the DeWitt and Tipton Post Offices. It was at the colony where John met his wife, Isabel. They married in 1938 and had three children. To support his family, Bloom worked as an industrial designer and then as an illustrator at the Rock Island Arsenal. Meanwhile, his wife Isabel continued her sculpting work, growing a formidable business in the village of East Davenport. But American regionalism began to wane. It started to go out of fashion when modernism began to rise. Uh, people started seeing regionalism as uh, nostalgic as well as a bit of a cliche. And so in the mid-40s, it started to kind of go out of vogue. Uh, when artists like Jackson Pollock and New York City modernists really started to gain traction. In addition, World War II hastened the end to American regionalism. When looking at artwork uh, like Grant Woods, there's a lot of similarities between what was happening in depictions of the laborer uh, in like communist artwork. And so there were some associations that people uh, connected between the two, and that also contributed to its decline. A friendship with David Lasasso, owner of Mississippi Fine Art in East Davenport, brought John's artwork back into the public eye after his retirement in 1969. Regionalism started to have a resurgence in the 1980s during uh, around the Reagan era. And that was when there was a lot of rediscovery happening. Uh, there was a Grant Wood retrospective and it started to really set off people re-evaluating uh, regionalism in the context of art history. And that is also when John Bloom uh, got picked up and there was an exhibition of his work at the Figgy in 1988, uh, but prior to that he had really become a popular local uh, figure in art. Other works by Bloom can be found in regional museums including the Figgy Art Museum and Muscatine Art Center, and Waiting for the Ferry, a bronze sculpture of two boys pointing to the Mississippi from a bench is based on a lithograph by Bloom. John Bloom passed away in 2002 at the age of 96, one year after his beloved wife, Isabel. His work may not have been as popular as Wood or Curry, but it still captured the same spirit of mid-America during the 1930s, leaving behind a legacy of an art style that is all but forgotten.